Broward County Sheriff's Office. That's the voice of the armed school resource officer Scott Peterson, who was on campus the whole time. Not only did he not go into the school to pursue the shooter, but we now hear him telling responding units to keep their distance. Do not approach the 12 or 1300 buildings. Stay at least 500 feet away at this point. Stay away from 12 and 1300 buildings. The new timeline reveals that from the moment the shooting started, just before 2.22 p.m. on Valentine's Day, it was 11 long minutes before police finally went into the school, a full five minutes after the shooting stopped. During those first terrifying moments, 911 calls poured in. I think I hear gunshots. From inside the school, from people nearby, and from frightened parents. My son, I, I, I call me now that there is... There is shooting in okay. Douglas Where? High School. Douglas High School? Okay, stay on the line for me, okay? Yeah. What yeah. city is that in? Uh, Parkland, Florida. In another, you can hear a mother trying to comfort her daughter. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, my God, there's another dog. I love you. I love you. It's going to be fine. Can you hide somewhere? Can you play dead? As the terror unfolded, Officer Peterson stayed outside the building. His lawyer later claiming Peterson believed that those gunshots were originating from outside. The timeline now clearly shows Peterson telling dispatch it was inside the 1200 building. Well, what I saw was a deputy arrive at the west side of building 12, take up a position, and he never went in. Adding to the chaos, there were separate 911 systems used by the Broward County Sheriff's Office and the Coral Springs Police Department, meaning they couldn't communicate with each other. 39, white male, ROTC uniform, Oregon shirt, last seen in the three-story building, North parking lot. The police spotted the gunman, but couldn't relay that critical information. Does he know 